Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students welcome to the course uh, NPTEL course Visual Communication Design for Dig Digital Media this is the second module and in this module we will discuss elements of design. So second and third module will concentrate on the visual communication design part. In the second module we will talk about the uh, elements of design and the third module will talk about the principles. So what are the elements of design? Elements of design we have five elements of design, line, shape, volume and space, texture or pattern and color. So line is one dimensional, shape has two different dimensions. Volume and space is uh, when we um, talk about three dimensional spaces and texture and pa pattern are the surface uh, rendering process. So texture and pattern and then the color will also create um, a difference in the surface. So these are the tools, the basic tools uh, with which we can create different kind of uh, visual uh, designs. So it can, uh, visual design can range from, uh, as we know, from uh, three, dim uh, three dimensional art and craft to architecture to two dimensional painting as well as uh, digital media. So in uh, terms of digital media as well, we have uh, these five elements and with the permutation combination of all these elements, we can create different kind of visual uh, design and uh, applying the principles of design, we can create uh, different uh, typologies of design. So first uh, element is line. So how do we define the line in, uh, in visual design? So line is a point in motion. So it has only one dimension uh, theoretically. So line only consists one dimension, but in uh, terms of visual design, it can have different kind of width. So in the right hand uh, side corner, uh, we can see different kind of lines, but in uh, terms of geometry, some of these will be called as shapes because uh, it has some width. It is, it is not exactly one dimensional. But in terms of visuals, uh, visual art and visual communication design, these actually ha um, will be classified as lines because uh, these are, uh, this has a single direction, one direction and it has a motion. So uh, in this slide, we can uh, see uh, what are the different, um, uh, how line helps in visual communication. So first, uh, first of all, line conveys a mood or feeling. So that is the first uh, uh, usage of line. So in this uh, slide, we can see some uh, uh, design of uh, the famous designer, automobile designer, Daniel Simons. Uh, from his, uh, it's taken from uh, the book Cosmic Motors. On the right hand side, we can see uh, a two wheeler designed uh, with sharp and uh, sharp line which uh, conveys motion. And on the right, uh, left hand side, we can uh, see a very sketchy design, concept design of a, a spaceship. So uh, how lines can be used in uh, visual communication design? So first uh, usage of line is to convey mood or feeling. So though a line has only one dimension, it, has, uh, it can convey different uh, meaning it, uh, and it, uh, many uh, adjectives can be at, uh, attributed um, uh, in the line like uh, free, nervous, angry, happy, quiet, excited, calm, graceful, etc. So if we see in this picture on the right hand corner, uh, both the pictures are uh, taken from uh, the book Cosmic Motors by Daniel Simon. On the right hand corner, we can see a two wheeler designed by uh, uh, him. And on the left hand side, we can see a concept sketch of a uh, spaceship. So this in the right hand corner is a, is a very final design, uh, has a lot of detailing and we can see a very sharp line which has motion. And on the uh, uh, left hand corner, we can see a concept design, so uh, lines are very shaky. and. Uh, has a lot of a um, uh, uh, lot of lines are uh, uh, overlaid on each um, uh, on top of each other, and if we see the smoke um, uh, emi uh, emitting from that uh, spaceship, the line quality is completely different. The line doesn't have that uh, sharp and uh, sleek uh, uh, nature, which we have on the uh, right hand side's uh, uh, final design. So in uh, another example, this is uh, a uh, concept uh, designed by Anne Allen Lee, who is the concept uh, designer of uh, Lord of the Rings uh, movie. So here we can see a uh, concept design of Rivendell's palace. 
So here the line quality is completely different. Here in the corner we can see that uh, see that the curvilinear lines which has a lot of ornate characteristics and uh, the strokes are absolutely different uh, if we compare with uh, with the mo uh, design of uh, the motor. And here the second property of line is it can delineate the shape and form. Uh, so lines important uh, characteristics uh, so it defines the form. So in the right hand corner if we see it defines three geometric form. So if uh, here it, it, it is actually uh, these are shapes but at the corner at the border there is a line. And here in this uh, picture we can see it, uh, it depicts a uh, cityscape of, of an old city. So there, there does not exist any mass, any color, any texture but only through the line we can get the feeling of the space. So uh, if we talk about the typologies of line, there are three different types of line. One is uh, actual line, uh, there is implied line, another is psychic line. So if we talk about uh, actual lines, actual lines are lines which exist, which we can see. So in this example, we can uh, see uh, this, in this example where we can see uh, two fishes, these lines which depicts waves are actually existing, though it can vary in uh, weight. Uh, and it has uh, it can have different characteristics. So here we can have a uh, sketchy characteristics uh, of line which uh, resembles the brush wa watercolor brush stroke of the line. Uh, so this is an actual line. And also in this right hand corner we can see a doodling. So these um, single line drawings are actually line which depicts a, a shape which uh, gives uh, a, a depicts a shape or form. So here, these are the ex example of implied line. Implied lines can uh, might not be a continuous line, and there uh, can be some uh, points in between, and or uh, the uh, some objects in between. And so we psychologically create the line. So in this example, on the left hand uh, side, we can see uh, an um, page uh, layout designed uh, uh, page layout from the book uh, Making and Breaking of Grid. So in this page, we can see this Kandineski's poster, yellow poster and this logo are aligned on the same line, even uh, the text if we uh, see. So the top horizontal uh, red line is not existent, but here we psychologically create that line and we join that line and that line appears in that design. Similarly, if we see this uh, vertical lines here, so these lines are not there. But the alignment of text and the photograph creates this line. Similarly, this is an example. This is uh, designed by one of uh, the student here in architecture department. Here we can see these dotted lines. So dotted lines are not actually lines. These are dots. But this creates a vertical continuity and creates a implied line. So the third type of line is psychic lines. So psychic lines are implied lines. So here uh, there is no existence of line, there is no point, but uh, the composition uh, creates a movement of user's eye and that psychologic users psychologically uh, follow up a um, line which does not exist in the uh, picture. So if we see in this uh, picture, so uh, the uh, person is looking at his hand. So here in the red line depicts the imp implied line of user's eye movement. So this is a uh, psychic line is actually user's eye movement uh, in the composition where there uh, does not exist any line. So here in this example we can uh, see three uh, uh, the um, uh, three different kind of lines uh, is coexisting. So here we can see continuous lines, these horizontal lines can be um, uh, as actual lines and here we can see a lot of dots which are uh, closely spaced and uh, it uh, creates a linearity. So these are uh, implied lines and if we see the uh, complete composition from the center, center has that focal point and from the center uh, all these leaves are radiating. So these are actually psychic lines. So user's uh, eye uh, attention first comes here in the center and from the, uh, there uh, user start uh, to look from the out uh, uh, at the corner of the um, composition. So types of lines can also be determined as um, the way uh, it defines the form or shape. 
so one can be contour line and another can be gesture line so contour uh, contour line actually defines a shape or uh, form so it actually follows the outer uh, boundary of a shape or form but gesture line just frees uh, just uh, uh, flows uh, freely so in this example this is a good example of a, uh, a contour line and gesture line so on the left hand side in daniel simon's uh, automobile design the line if you can see are actually following the edge of a shape or form so this is actually a contour line so it clearly defines the contour of the uh, of the shape and form but here in the uh, concept um, design of a alan lees the concept uh, uh, artist of lord of the rings here in this character design he actually doesn't uh, fall uh, create a line which follows the outer boundary of a shape it freely comes within the uh, shape and goes outside and creates a um feeling of the um, uh, of the line so it more uh, more or less uh, concentrates on the characteristics of the line the mood of the line and uh, contour line uh, concentrates on uh, uh, delineates the uh, the outer shape of the uh, form so uh, the next element of design is shape the shape is two dimensional line was one dimensional right now we are moving to the shape which is two dimensional so how do we define shape in visual communication design shape is a uh, visually perceived area created either by an enclosing line or by color or value change so it can be either a line out, uh, outline of a um, shape or there can be just a color or value change and uh, which can be appeared as a shape so shape can also be called as a form uh, in a, a non technical way but form generally is associated with three dimensional um, it connotes a three dimensional space but shape is two dimensional so the term shape is uh, in this sense more specific and uh, uh, when we talk about shape the meaning uh, of shape comes later but seeing a shape is primary so uh, and meaning of the shape can be highly contextual and when it communicates with the uh, user then the uh, context specific meaning can be different to the uh, different users so uh, there are diff uh, different uh, types of uh, shapes uh, first uh, we can dif uh, differentiate a shape between uh, two categories one is rectilinear shapes another is, uh, another is curvilinear shapes so here we can uh, see in the first example we can see guernica by uh, pablo picasso the famous paint, uh, painter and here we have lot of angular characteristics of uh, shape lot of uh, uh, angles and straight lines are there so this uh, guernica is uh, actually pablo picasso's uh, one uh, drawing uh, which falls under uh, cubist movement so cubist movement generally has a lot of rectilinear characteristics which has lot of straight lines angular features but here we have on the other hand we have william morris's design which is um, uh, which falls in the art and craft movement so here we can see lot of uh, curvilinear shapes which are uh, more which has less angles but more curves so to define we can say rectilinear shapes being more angular and linear suggest geometry and hence appear artificial and manufactured but in uh, on the other way uh, curvilinear shapes provide us with a lot of freedom curvilinear shape can also be geometric for example uh, if we draw uh, circles ellipses and parabol uh, parabolic shapes which which is uh, which are curvilinear shapes uh, can uh, but which are geometric shapes so shapes uh, shapes can also be defined as a uh, uh, positive or negative so what are the positive shapes positive shapes are also uh, considered as figure and negative shapes are also considered as ground so positive sh uh, shapes has lot of uh, 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 intricacy and has more subject matter so in this uh, example we can see uh, the uh, we can see a kandarpa hasti which is a uh, drawing of uh, uh, patachitra uh, drawing taken from uh, raghurajpur patachitra and the artisan is uh, prabhakar badal so here we can see a kandarpa hasti there are lot of uh, women which uh, who forms the elephant so that is the figure and as a background we can see the black background which has a tree and lot of uh, floral um, ornamentation there which has uh, which acts as a background or negative space so here the positive space is the elephant 
and negative space is the uh, ornate background which is uh, which shows uh, which, which is colored um, in black and uh, gray so uh, which also uh, positive and negative uh, space should be integrated so if these uh, two spaces are uh, dis uh, not so uh, well integrated the composition doesn't uh, look interesting so negative areas are uh, if the negative areas are more more interesting uh, then positive and negative uh, integration improves and most common device is uh, to repeat a color in the positive uh, which is present in the positive uh, space into the negative spaces so if we go back to that example we can see there are a lot of um, brown color um, here in the positive uh, space which we can see a, a small repetition here in, in if you uh, see clearly there is a bird there which is also colored brown and here in the uh, foreground we can also see uh, there are a lot of um, the ground is colored uh, the color used for the ground is also brown so there is a continuity from the figure to ground and the positive and negative space so uh, these co positive and negative space are coherent so uh, there can be a positive negative confusion uh, in the uh, space as well so uh, uh, because of the familiarity of the uh, positive as well as the negative shape there can be a confusion between uh, which one is uh, the user can be confused between which which shape is positive and which shape is negative and both the sh uh, uh, positive and negative uh, spa uh, shape can act as a uh, can uh, simultaneously uh, uh, can be felt as a uh, both are positive spaces so this principle is called gestures principles uh, which we will discuss later in the uh, different uh, modules so uh, and it can appear that the negative area does not uh, does not even exist so if we look at the example here so uh, this is uh, asher's metamorphosis taken from the uh, composition of asher's metamorphosis 2 and this is actually a long painting and uh, uh, this is a, a, a portion of the painting this is a very long painting so here uh, asher uh, shows a metamorphosis and evolution of uh, uh, of a, uh, of animal kingdom so here we can see uh, there are fish and fish transforms into bird but if you uh, see clearly the fish initially appears as a positive space figure and the black part actually appears as the uh, background or the negative space but it gradually from the uh, left hand side to the right hand side transforms the uh, background the negative space uh, gradually transforms into a bird and the fish the positive space the white spaces actually diminishes and doesn't ex uh, and uh, on the right hand side they don't even exist and again uh, they take a form of a uh, brown bird and they uh, then another kind of um, figure appears reappears so there is a confusion between positive and negative uh, space altogether in the in this uh, composition also uh, in the in the uh, corner right hand side corner we can see uh, either a female um, face or a person uh, playing a uh, 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 saxophone so uh, sometimes we see uh, perceive the white space as a figure sometimes uh, uh, white shape as a figure sometimes we perceive black shape as a figure so another way of uh, uh, dividing shape into uh, two different category is geometric and biomorphic so geometric is a lot of uh, geometrical shapes will be there and biomorphic a lot, lot of natural and uh, biological uh, shapes uh, will be there so we can also uh, call that uh, organic uh, shape will be there so on the uh, left hand side if, if we uh, look at the piet mondrian's uh, famous painting broadway boogie woogie we can see a lot of uh, geometric shapes here uh, there are um, uh, he played with uh, rectangles and squares uh, which are absolutely geometric and on the right hand side we can uh, see salvador dali's painting salvador dali was a, su a surrealist painter and his painting um, in this painting we can see a lot of uh, biomorphic elements a lot of curvilinear uh, shapes but as we discussed all the curvilinear shapes are not um, always biomorphic it can also be geometric so in this uh, example uh, which is present in the uh, uh, middle of the presentation by john miro we can see a lot of circles which are actually geometric shapes and a lot of uh, rectangles which are geometric and as well as there are a lot of uh, uh, free flowing curves which are biomorphic so uh, john miro's example uh, which which is uh, which uh, also cater, um, which has biomorphic as well as ge uh, uh, geometric shapes but salvador dali's uh, uh, painting has a lot of biomorphic uh, shapes but on the other hand piet mondrian's uh, design has um, is absolutely geometric 
So, uh, a shape can be either geometric or biomorphic. Here we can uh, see on the right hand uh, side, we have Salvador Dali's uh, painting, uh, Geopolitical Child, which is from the uh, art movement of uh, Surrealism. And on the left hand side, we have uh, Piet Mondrian's uh, Broadway Boogie Boogie, which is under uh, the Strigil art movement. So, in the uh, uh, left hand side, in Piet Mondrian's uh, pic um, painting, we can see a lot of uh, geometric uh, shapes, which is uh, square and rectangle. He played with uh, uh, the composition of uh, square and rectangle. And in Salvador Dali, he did not use uh, much geometric shapes. The most uh, shapes are biomorphic, which uh, comes from the natural uh, origin, which is organic in nature. So, uh, and uh, in between we have John Miro's composition of abstract composition where we can see uh, rectangles, lines and as well as circles which is also geometric shape but curvilinear geometric uh, shapes and also we have free flowing curves which is biomorphic. So, this uh, John Miro's uh, composition is a comp um, uh, comprises of geometric as well as biomorphic shapes but jo uh, John Miro's, um, uh, but uh, Piet Mondrian's composition uh, is completely geometric and uh, Salvador Dali's composition is more of a biomorphic um, uh, shapes. So, uh, if we talk about shape association, either a shape can, can be a reminiscent of an abstract known object. So, abstraction of a known object uh, can be depicted uh, with a shape which has a narrative association, narrative connotation but also it can have uh, no meaning just it can uh, be a, uh, 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 the shape can be solely of a aesthetic purpose so a lot of uh, 21st century artists uh, they uh, 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 forces uh, the user to look as a visual composition as just as a aesthetic uh, composition so in this um, composition by kandinsky we can see a lot of geometric uh, shapes which doesn't have any uh, narrative association but on the other hand uh, we can ha uh, we have a, a bengal potachitra by uh, artisan moina chitrakar which uh, each and every shapes has a meaning and which uh, conveys uh, uh, which is associated with a known uh, object uh, the, in this case human being and uh, trees and other uh, musical instruments. So, next uh, element of design is texture or pattern. Texture and pattern they uh, can be used uh, synonymously, but texture and pattern has slight differences. So, uh, to define them we can say uh, they refer a repetitive design motifs. So, when uh, a design motifs are re uh, repeated uh, several times the, that can be called as a pattern or texture, but texture can refer uh, to a surface quality it has a, a haptic characteristics or sense of touch. So, even when we uh, do not um, actually feel the object, we can uh, have uh, the haptic communication through the texture. So, uh, the difference between texture and pattern, uh, there is a faint difference between texture and pattern. So, pattern is actually a regular repetition of design motifs. When the design motifs are uh, repeated in regular interval, that is called uh, pattern. And texture too uh, has a repetition, but the re uh, repetition is uh, less um, uh, perceivable and um, uh, does not uh, have a um, similar um, regular interval. So, here we have some uh, examples of pattern and texture. So, first example, uh, the f uh, th these examples are taken from a Bengal uh, Patachitra and uh, the photographs are, take are taken from Mayana Chitrakar's uh, different paintings. So, first one is a fish scale which has a regular uh, repetition of uh, same design motifs. So, we it can be a uh, of pattern, but here we can uh, see this uh, texture of hair and um, the texture of wood wardrobe. These are actually textures, these are not patterns. So, uh, the repetitions uh, are not so uh, regular. Here the another example, uh, the previous example we have uh, the example which is uh, hand drawn and here we have more geometric, uh, sh um, geometric pat uh, uh, and digitally uh, manufactured and um, uh, digitally uh, designed motifs. So, these are art deco uh, text uh, patterns. So, these patterns are uh, created uh, were, uh, flourish during art deco movement and we can see a uh, regular interval of uh, same design motifs. So, these are actually examples of pattern. Here we have some uh, examples of texture. On the right hand side, we can uh, this uh, these are uh, screenshot of uh, 
animation design, stop motion animation design, and this is a screenshot of a game design. So here we can uh, see our grunge texture and which has a watercolor effect in the right hand side. On the left hand side, we have uh, a similar grunge, uh, grunge texture, but which uh, gives a, a texture of a linograph and uh, woodcut painting, but not so uh, literally, but uh, tries to mimic that kind of uh, texture. And texture can be uh, defined um, in uh, two different way, uh, divided in two different way. One is uh, tactile texture and uh, another is visual texture. In uh, digital uh, uh, design, in visual communication design, in digital media, we can only use visual texture because tactile texture is associated uh, with the material when the texture is actually there. So we can touch and feel the texture. So uh, the example will be a brick cla uh, cla cladding or um, exposed brick wall. So here we have an example of architecture. So uh, the exposed brick wall gives a texture of brick and exposed concrete also gives a, a texture of uh, concrete, raw concrete. So this is uh, from a brutalist movement, uh, a photograph of a safety university. So this is an example of tactile texture. We can touch and feel the texture. But in terms of visual des uh, uh, design, we can only uh, use visual texture. But visual texture is uh, uh, can be achieved by uh, changing hue and value. Those are the attributes of color difference, and uh, an illusion of texture can be created. So this is actually not a texture, an illusion of a texture. So which uh, doesn't exist physically, but uh, when we see, we can have a uh, feeling of texture. So it evokes a hap haptic perception through uh, though there is no uh, undulation on the surface. So these are some examples. So skeuomorphism is a uh, style which um, first uh, started uh, uh, by iOS uh, design. So uh, here we have uh, the te um, um, visual texture of wood and also the buttons have a shiny glossy texture because of the hue and color variation. So we can see that there is a, we can, we can see and perceive there is a haptic uh, sensation of um, wood as well as this metallic uh, finish through the, um, uh, in the style of skeuomorphism. This skeuomorphism will be uh, discussed later in the um, different modules. So here to sum up, we can have uh, uh, some examples which uh, plays with shape, line and texture. In this example on the right side, we can see a lot of uh, sketchy lines. These buttons and tabs are de delineated with sketchy lines. So these are uh, very shaky uh, lines are used and uh, there are texture which uh, mimics uh, the uh, texture of a canvas and which gives a different kind of feeling of this UI design. On the other hand, we have a very strong uh, geometric um, line, line quality, flat color, which uh, has another kind of uh, visual uh, style. And here we have two different examples of uh, one. Uh, the first example is from a skeuomorphism um, of Apple. And this, uh, the second example is of material design of Google. So these uh, two are completely different. Uh, here in the Google's uh, material design, we can see very angular um, shapes, uh, geometric and um, rectilinear shapes. And in Apple's design, we can um, see some curve um, uh, angles and um, a lot of visual textures are used.